so just to tell you that the spline this this linear spline or this structure this is not orthogonal to its translates so in some sense if you just translate it this is what happens so are these two orthogonal unlike her in her we had uh, this orthogonal pair because this was totally perpendicular to this or they had nothing in common while in this kind of uh, this kind of a spline or this triangular structure they have something in common so for this kind of a structure the need for bi orthogonal basis comes now bi orthogonal is nothing but a very simple technique to find out the component for example there is this function to find out the component of like uh, let this 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 overall area which comes let this be f0 and this area under this be f1 to just find out the component of this complete function over this this basis and over this basis separately now how does this happen let me explain what i am trying to say in the har case we can directly find out because the area a1 simply and this area a2 or the average this sorry the average overall is the simply the value just try to find a uh, c in my sas lecture i had given an analogy between the vector spaces and uh, the two dimensional vector spaces and three dimensional vector spaces and the structure just to simplify the stuff let me explain you what i am trying to say just keep this picture in mind and this picture these two are sort of an orthogonal Uh, uh, basis. So let this be an orthogonal basis structure. This is V one and V two. Let me not draw it uh, like this, but just like this. Okay. If if I am given some vector y, then if this is orthogonal, then I can simply find out the com these individual components. how because i dot this y with v1 i get this component of y in direction of v1 y in direction of v1 and this y in direction of v2 it is simple this is the kind of this is the analogy between the simple uh, orthogonal uh, structures with this kind of vector structure uh, this uh, orthogonal this kind of an orthogonal with uh, uh, two dimensional vector space this is simple how just see this will be nothing but y v2 divided by v2 dot v2 times v2 this will be the this is equal to y in direction of v2 this is simple projection we can find out similarly for this but now in case of this kind of a structure let me draw how it looks so in the case where these two structures are not orthogonal if you just see then i have this structure and just see how i am going about this is v1 this is v2 this is this y so now they are not perpendicular so i cannot just uh, simply find the projection and work this won't work this totally won't work why because it if i take this perpendicular for example just see and add up add them up then they will form uh, let me explain they will form something like this okay So this will be y hash. 
if i if i take this component and this component and add them in this case i could get them because the structure this was rectangular addition and now i have to use the parallelogram law of addition so i cannot directly find the ortho the components and directly add up them this is not possible in the case where these this or uh, this bases are bases are not perpendicular are not perpendicular so these are this is non orthogonal basis structure so in this case what i can say in simple words is that y is equal to alpha times v1 plus beta times v2 okay are you getting it where v1 is not is not perpendicular to is not perpendicular to v2 okay in some sense are you getting now in this type of cases what we do is that if this is if this is v1 this is v2 then what i do is that i take let me explain you this is u1 and this is u2 in sense this is perpendicular to this and this is perpendicular to this so i take it in a such a way that u1 is perpendicular to v1 and u2 is perpendicular to v2 now what is the advantage why why am i doing all this nonsense the simple structure is that the simple reason is that it will simplify a lot stuff so now if i take the dot product of y with u1 now as i told that u1 and v1 are orthogonal so the dot product of v1 and u1 this will be equal to zero what i will be left is beta times u1 dot v1 v2 if i know this part then what can i say about this beta i have found beta so beta is equal to found similarly if i dot product it with this u2 then this will stay and this will be u2 dot v2 which will be gone now this case so in that sense i have also found alpha so if alpha is found beta is found then this kind of structures this so this part if i take this v1 and this v2 and this vector y then i have found this portion the parallelogram ka kind of a structure where this much portion this much alpha times v1 and this is beta times v2 so this how much times so this i will find that how much component of v, v2 and how much component of v1 i have to add because this will not give the correct answer taking the perpendicular component will not serve we need if there is a vector we need to represent it in this portion this is alpha times v1 and not the projections projections won't work we need to find alpha v1 like this and not like this perpendicular one perpendicular won't work again i am repeating because this is the mistake which people will do in understanding this alpha times v1 plus this beta times v2 will work we use this projection uh, structure only because this basis were perpendicular in rectangular coordinate we cannot use the ortho orthogonal structures where we have a non orthogonal basis structure please understand this so this is this part is alpha times v1 this part is beta times v2 so this 
alpha and beta I have found, so I can find out this is alpha comma beta portion accordingly. And I will reconstruct this uh, equal to this one. So this is the stuff when you are working with non-orthogonal basis structure. So when you are working with non-orthogonal basis structure, you need a concept of bi-orthogonal basis where we where this this is nothing but uh, what we can say uh, u2 and this is nothing but q1. These bi-orthogonal structures are very much essential when you are working with a non-orthogonal basis structure. 